Very well, the defense may begin its cross examination. Press. And did you find any evidence? Nah, nah, don't jump out the gun, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. <sighs> I got a bad feeling about this. This paper next to the victim's body. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Ho oh, ho! Then who did it, smarty pants? Cool. Um, the killer. The killer! Anyone can see that. Oh. Ho! Oh. You're saying the killer wrote her own name, buddy, please. She was framed. <laughs> Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? I guess it was a bit of tall order for you. Those without evidence should open the mouths, Mr. Wright. Should open the mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. <sighs> well, detective, tell us what was written on the memo you found. Uh, written clearly in blood. Written clearly in blood. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna skip to this one so I can... This one. Uh, present. Objection! Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want to want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, May Fay, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, May Fay. That really, what are you, that's really what you're saying. What? This isn't one of those lawyery tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else would have? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the one person who absolutely could not have written it. This report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow with from a blunt object. She died immediately. But. No butting your way out of this one, detective. Order, order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately would have wouldn't have time to write down anything. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but what exactly did you obtain in this autopsy report? When? Day after the murder. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, your honor. Uh, fuck you. A second autopsy report formed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. There was a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. You have something up your sleeve. Well, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something won't say. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> what should I go with? Is he a sham? Is the detective a sham? Or is I a sham? Did I just seriously say is I? Excuse me. Let's go with, uh, you are a sham. Actually, no, let's go with the safe. You're a sham. 
Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have to, to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense. Uh, Mr. Wright, the defense will frame from personal attacks on the prosecution. No, Mariana. Mr. Wright, say what you will, the evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts this evidence. Ah, fuck you. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose there's an obvious conclusion, yes. Good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April, May, June, July, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent. Witness your name, please. April May, at your service. Ding. Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Oh, yes, your honor. This is not good already captured the heart of every man in the court. And some lesbians. If not most. Tell us where you were on the night of September 4th when the murder occurred. Um, gee. I was like, in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And the hotel is directly across from the Fane Company Law Offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court what you saw. <clears throat> I was. It was like 9 p. 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then. Oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. And the one attacking her was this mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But the girl, she caught up and she hit her. And the woman with long hair, she kind of slumped. But you were only calling when I got there. When I was checking the phone. In the end, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Every little bitsy witsy. And yeah, I guess that's what you saw. Ding! Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. I see. This is remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss My Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you! Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm doing it. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Why 
did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why that? Why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What, that's it? She can't get out of this question that easily? I sort of, you know, had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. See how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out of your window at the time at that time of night. I oh Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You insist on needling her with your with these trivial questions. I really don't think you should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him! Yeah, stop him! Poor girl. Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. <laughs> poor girl? What about poor me? Another drink? You looked out the window, and what did you see next? And then... Oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Okay, that one's... <sighs> fairly obvious. <sighs> How would I go about that, because... How would I mention that?